Welcome to the Improve and Have Fun podcast. My name is Paul PVP Perez, or now I sometimes call myself Paul V. Perez. And on this podcast, I work on improving myself while having fun along the way with the hopes of encouraging you to do the same. And I do so by documenting my life and interests. And in this episode, I'm going to be reviewing Knives Out. I've seen this movie a few weeks ago, and i just kind of been sitting on my notes. So I thought uh, it's almost uh, the end of the year. Let me get this out. Now, let me go ahead and give you a brief description of what Knives Out is about. And I want to start doing this with all the movies and the comics that I start talking about. So I wanted to give some context to the things that I'm talking about. This is the Wikipedia description of the Knives Out movie. This movie came out, like I said, in the U.S. around Thanksgiving. And uh, Knives Out is a 2019 American murder mystery film written, produced, and directed by Ryan Johnson. Described as a modern take on the whodunit, the film follows a family gathering gone awry after the family patriarch's death leads a master detective to investigate. The film stars an ensemble cast, including Daniel Craig, who is the detective, Chris Evans' family, Anna Diarmas, she's uh, the author's caretaker, Jamie Lee Curtis, Michael Shannon, Don Johns, Tony Collette, they're all family, uh, Lakeith Stanfield, Catherine Langford, Jaden Martell and Christopher Plummer is the author. But this movie was so much fun. I really, really enjoyed this movie. But it's also a thing where, uh, for me, uh, since I know kind of uh, who did it, it's kind of like a murder mystery, like a, a clue or something like that. If you remember that movie from back in the day, that's so long ago. But uh, it's a murder mystery and you're kind of trying to guess who did it. And now that I know who kind of did it, the uh, doesn't really entice me to see it a second time, but I might if I just catch it on streaming one day in the future. But this movie was so much fun. I think that the, what was so great about this movie, how uh, the characters and the family and the characters themselves were so fleshed out so quickly with just a few lines of dialogue and you kind of just got a vibe of who they were and uh, you know you kind of get to know them more throughout the movie and it's a lot of characters in this movie and i think that ryan johnson who just came off doing uh, doing the very polarizing last jedi which i enjoyed um he did this and um he did a really great job with this movie but the star of this movie was anna the armis she was the the caretaker she had a lot of the movie basically she was had the most lines and she was in the majority of the film um, and you don't get that from the trailer you really think that it's going to be daniel craig uh, with most of the lines and the family but anna darmus she is the one that's through like she's a through line throughout this entire movie and she is great in this movie by the way uh, so that's not necessarily a bad thing daniel craig's accent made me laugh it just but it made me laugh in a good way um he has like this kind of like um almost like this down south new orleans almost kind of accent and as soon as he started talking i started to laugh but laugh in a, in a way of like I'm, I'm excited to see where this goes so i really enjoyed daniel craig's accent in the movie the two other police officers i don't have the names in front of, them of, the, of the characters but you had uh lakeith stanfield who was the kind of like the straight man and then you had this other cop who was kind of a little bit like a goof but he was a fan of uh, the victim uh, he was a fan of the victim's books and he just kind of like knew all this extra knowledge sometimes and um, I found them both to be very fun I found them both uh, that they played off of Daniel Craig um, who was like like I said the sleuth um, trying to figure this murder mystery and they were both great like Lakeith Stanfield like I said being the straight man and then this other cop being like a funny cop but it was really good I thought it worked I laughed out loud several times watching the movie and uh, the house and all the background props um, was cool but it was never discussed and I kind of wanted to know more like that like you see it in, in the ads and you see it um, in the poster and stuff like that that um, wheel of knives like what is this about you know and even throughout the house it's just like uh, in different scenes you see like christopher Plummer uh, on his desk he has like a bunch of weird things on his desk and um i would have liked to have just some of that been discussed or um because i found that kind of to be fun if you look back at uh, ryan johnson's previous movies like the only other ensemble movie he's ever done was i guess like i mean like a really humongous cast was the last jedi and in his other movies he had like a few players but he just like uh, for me he like just leveled up 
with Star Wars, which is good, but this movie was just great. And uh, I really enjoyed this movie. Uh, so much fun, but I don't know if it'll be a second viewing for me. This was enjoyable, and I really recommend it. Like I said, it's a murder mystery. You're kind of trying to figure out who did it. And I don't think I gave spoilers in this review, so this is a non-spoilers review. You can go ahead and check it out for yourself and then tell me what you think. Um, and you can do so by clicking on the link in the show notes for this episode. Or if you're looking at this on YouTube, you can just comment below and tell me what you think. Um, this was, like I said, a very fun movie. And I have a good feeling this is going to be on my uh, Movies of the Year list for 2019. But if you saw Knives Out, please let me know what you think. This is the Improve and Have Fun podcast. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for listening. Keep making that popcorn pop.